Hey guys, welcome back to another Premier League predictions video. Today we are back with game week 27 and we start off the fixture with Bournemouth at home to Liverpool where I have gone for a 2-1 Liverpool victory. Bournemouth was so close to getting, well, a, a a point or nearly three points away at the Emirates um, as I'm recording this on Saturday the 4th they were 2-0 up and ended up losing 3-2 in the 98th minute they have been scoring goals they've had a tough run and at home to Liverpool is not going to be easy but as I say they've been playing pretty well so no reason they can't get something out of that next up we've gone for Everton Brentford uh, as a 1-1 draw I've gone for quite a few one all draws this week uh, Everton Brentford being one of them I've then gone for for Brighton to beat Leeds by two goals to one. Brighton with a good victory um, against West Ham 4-0 uh, in game week 26. Uh, whilst Leeds lost away at Chelsea. Finally Chelsea getting a win. Next up, speaking of Chelsea, Leicester at the King Power away for Potter's Blues. I've gone for a one-all draw again. I'm still not sure there's been that much progress made. And I just see it being one or Leicester back at home. Um, they're away at Southampton actually playing now as I'm recording and losing 1-0 um, but another one all draw there between Leicester and Chelsea I've then gone for Tottenham to beat Nottingham Forest Tottenham were playing really well but they've just been knocked out of the FA Cup and then lost to Wolves I have gone for them to win 2-0 Forest are not very good away from home and I do think Tottenham will bounce back with a victory I've then gone for Crystal Palace 1 Manchester City 3 City have been conceding a few more goals got a clean sheet against Newcastle um, but away at Selhurst, saying that Palace don't score a lot of goals, lost against Villa again today. Um, I've gone for 3-1, I'm not too sure. Palace have a very good record against City, surprisingly, so could be anything that, but I'm hoping for a City win. I really don't want Arsenal to win the league. Again, speaking of Arsenal, next up, they are away at Fulham at Craven Cottage. Fulham playing very well at the moment, um, and I've gone for a one-all draw in that one as well. Arsenal, despite winning, um, similarly to the Aston Villa game where they won it late, really annoying that they keep doing this because, as I say, don't really want Arsenal to win the league, um, but they keep finding these late goals, which is what champions do. Um, I have gone for a draw in this one though away at Fulham. Fulham playing very very well at the moment so I think that'll be tough for Arsenal. Next up is our Joker game. Game 8 I've gone for Manchester United 3 Southampton 0. United playing brilliantly at the moment. Scoring lots and lots of goals and their defence has been more solid. They've conceded a few goals as of late but I think they're Best partnership at the back is Varane and Martinez, and that is very, very solid. I don't see Southampton scoring, so I've gone for 3-0. Um, I think that could be pretty set for our joker game there for game eight game nine two of the claret and blue teams that we've seen in the premier league over recent years obviously burnley now relegated um, but west ham against aston villa danny ings playing against his former claret and blue team aston villa for his new claret and blue team west ham he's got the whole trio having been at burnley as well um, but I've gone for a one-all draw. West Ham, I, I actually thought they'd picked up. I thought they played well against United at Old Trafford in the FA Cup. But then they've just been absolutely smashed 4-0 by Brighton. So maybe I'm wrong. Aston Villa playing well at the moment as well. But I think West Ham at home will be a different beast. I've gone for a one-all draw in that one. And then to round off the fixture on Sunday, Newcastle against Wolves. Newcastle, again, everyone knows how well they've done this year. And they have had a brilliant season. But they've started to... To drop off recently the goals have dried up and they've started conceding a few more goals but i have gone for a one nil victory it'll be an interesting game because wolves are playing well at the moment as well under lopetegi um so not 100 percent sure with this one but i can see newcastle pinching it at home they need a win and i think this will really boost them going forward we will quickly jump over to the predictions website because we've actually done quite well recently and jumped up a few places as well so let's go over and take a look so here we are then guys up to 17th we were actually 15th um before today's games but drop down to 17th only one point behind but you, you you can see we've sort of closed the gap a little bit we're up to one 179 points and we have closed the gap as i say every week we're never going to be up at the top unfortunately we're just too far behind but hoping to keep climbing up the table 
Um, and we, like I say, we had a good week last week because of the midweek games. We had Liverpool 2-0 as our joker, which got us six points and moved us right up the table. You can see for this fixture, we've done okay. We're kind of middle of the pack, six points so far. You can see them here. Again, no correct results, which has been my real downfall this season. Um, quite a few one-pointers. In fact, the only one I didn't get right was Wolves against Tottenham, which was 1-0 the other way. Had Leicester to win against Southampton. As I say, the Saints were one up, which is a bit of a shock. Um, but a couple of big games tomorrow. Forest against Everton, a big one down the bottom. And Liverpool against United as well. Big game for uh, Champions League. But as I say, we uh, it's not actually up here because this fixture's already been updated. But we did pretty well in the previous round with our six-point joker on Wednesday night with Liverpool winning. Um, but I don't really have an objective. I'd like to try and sneak into the top 10, which would be nice. I guess that is kind of our objective for the remainder of this season, to sneak in there. Um, still a long way to go. And we are on pretty good um, on a pretty good run at the moment, so no reason we can't do it. Another couple of six-pointers would really help. But that will do it for today's video, guys. Let me know what predictions you agree with and which ones you would change in the comments. And I will catch you very soon. Peace.